Well hello folks, good morning. Welcome to another video. I'm here in Nottinghamshire. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing in this video, I think it was last year, I cycled on my hybrid 250 kilometers. So I've come back 2020, and I wanna do the same again, but 250 miles. And this is the hybrid behind me. I'm gonna show you in just a moment. So basically what I'm doing, I'm cycling down from North Lincolnshire to Huntingdon, it's camping overnight, leaving tomorrow, uh, via Cambridge because I'm going to go and see the Fendon Road uh, roundabout which is the first Dutch style roundabout here in the UK. But before any of that let's have a look at the bike together. So yeah it's my normal Roo bike, this is the uh, my commuter bike. As you can see plenty of luggage, we're going to start. Let's start on the back shall we. So it's got this Super Tora rack from Topeak and sat on top is a quick MT rack, uh, or MTX quick rack from Topeak. And that's got my tent in there, sleeping bag, a few items of clothing, a few mechanical fittings at the back there, including a uh, chain lube, and I'm going to need to put some of that on later on. A nice big mini pump on there, Zephyl straps keeping everything in place. And a new thing on top here is the, B the uh, top tube bag from BTR. I've just got this, so I've got a few snacks in there. I made some uh, banana and blackberry flapjacks yesterday, so I'm looking forward to eating those. Centre stage is the Wahoo Element. My second GPS computer, need that. Uh, Cat Eye Vault, 1300 light. I've uh, got a down jacket in there. Waterproof over trousers, because there might be a bit of rain. And there's a few other items of clothing in there as well. Um, now, I have actually got panniers on the uh, Topeak bag, but I wanted to distribute the weight, which is why I've used the uh, these two bags up here, just to make the weight a little bit easier for the hills and things like that. Uh, but to be honest, there's not a lot of hill climbing in this ride, about 2,000 meters, 2,200 or something. Uh, it's actually 446 kilometers, which I just worked out on my uh, phone is 277 miles. So that's the journey over the next couple of days. Don't go anywhere. Let's see how it goes. Okay, well, I haven't told you yet, and I'm sure you can see in the title of the video. I'm gonna try and do this in 24 hours, not non-stop, just 250 miles on the bike, under 24 hours. Now that can be uh, interpreted one of two ways. Do I mean elapsed time or ride time? Personally, uh, throughout this I'm going to be looking at ride time, that's the thing I'm not going to care about most. Of course I do care about the elapsed time as well, but for the purpose of this two day ride, for me it's going to be ride time. But what I'm going to do at the end of all this journey, I'm going to put both times up on the screen so you can see them both, I can make your own mind up. So as you can see I took advantage of waiting for a train to get the camera out because I don't want to waste any time. I'm trying to get to the campsite at like, like 6 o'clock, half 6, that's my aim. Because uh, that'll give me an hour and a half, two hours, uh, to sort of get set up. Well, ch checking time is eight o'clock, so I need to get there before then. And it's getting dark early now, isn't it? So I don't want to be leaving it too late. What a lovely day it's turning out to be. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the, uh, the old Wahoo. 80k done in three and a half hours. Four minutes past 12. Uh, Bottisford can't be far around the corner and neither can the Beaver Estate. I'm gonna stop in there, have a coffee sandwich. So time-wise, it's not doing too bad. I think six o'clock getting to the campsite. It's a bit of a push on this bike. It's not that easy and it's been a headwind. Banana and Blackberry. I'm calling them flapjacks, but uh, I don't know, they're like fruity flapjacks. Watch, you, watch me eat it. I'm gonna show you the ingredients on the screen. So, yeah, bananas, berries, raisins, the milk, water, blackberries, I've said that already, and I, oh, I'm not going to give you any measurements, I'll just fruit it together. <laughs> not showing you the route today, have I? So, let's pop that on the screen. As you see, it's uh, pretty much going directly south kind of route as much as possible. So, literally going over the... Uh, Ray or Beaver, straight down into uh, where well, you might be able to tell on the map if I zoom in a little bit. Stopping at Hunterton, that's where the cab, uh, cab site is. And then going into Cambridge tomorrow. I don't know if I catch the guy up, but I'm gonna go left here. There was a guy on a unicycle. Here he is, I caught the guy up. Morning. You right there? You don't mind a camera in your face, do you? <laughs> you doing all right? Every day you see somebody on a unicycle. Most days I do. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, nice one. Enjoy your ride, it's a lovely day. Now, I'm talking to you, the long distance cyclist. I know I've got a few of you that watch the channel. Question for you. Oh, more of an observation. Do you know when you go out riding, perhaps all day, do you still say good morning in the middle of the afternoon? I'm always doing it. Oh, it could be late afternoon. I'm like, morning. <laughs> As you saw from the uh, route I showed you not too long ago, yes, there's 2,000 metres of climbing. But most of that is actually today going across Beaver and Rutland. Uh, I think the biggest climb really tomorrow is just across the Lincoln Edge. Didn't stick around at Cafe Alley for very long. I think when you're by yourself, everything's short and sweet. So I had a sausage and bacon cob, aka bun, It's what they're really called. And uh, you can see, looking down across the estate there. So I've just gone through Nipton and Croxton Corral. Well, that's how I'm pronouncing it. Somewhere around here, pass some here, let me know in the comments below. There's a, there's a road that goes along, you know, it's a ford in the middle of the road and a little bridge off to the left hand side. I don't know what village it's in. When I do come this way, I keep finding it by accident. I keep trying to plan it in. Just went past the farm back there with those hens in it. Do you want to hear my impression of some hens? What do you mean no? Oh, okay then. Look what I've happened upon. I tell you what, I've just come off a hill and there's a perfect view of the entire viaduct from left to right. It was absolutely amazing. I didn't have a chance to uh, turn the music off and go on my camera all at the same time. <laughs> it was quite a descent. But look at this place. Wow. What a beautiful location this is. Ha. Not far for me to go now. It's always uh, puts a smile on my face when I'm not that far from my sleep spot. Hunterdon itself is about two miles away from here, so heading to a little village called Over. Just stopped in St Ives and had a pizza. Not too big one, it's like a nine inch pizza. Ham and cheese. So what's this on the left you might ask? Well, I live in Cambridge, this area. You probably know what this is. It's the Cambridge guided busway. Yeah, so I'm just going alongside it for the next few miles before we cutting across. I'm not uh, do doodling, <laughs> dawdling around anymore. I need to get myself to the campsite get myself set up. It's uh, just got seven o'clock. Well, as you can see, I'm here at the campsite, finally arrived. It is uh, half seven, so I'm not wasting time setting up. There you go, that's how easy it is to put tent up. It took about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. I'm not about to go down the mines. This is uh, for later when I need the loo. So as you can see, God, I can't believe how dark it is. I don't know what time it is, it must be about 20 past eight, half eight, something like that, but it is dark already. Well, hello, good morning. Just leaving the campsite. Just going through the streets of Cambridge right now. It might be to tell by the line of people on bikes. The Fenden Road roundabout, this is the uh, UK's first Dutch style roundabout. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go around it a few times. <laughs> Why the hell not? Oh look, there's the side I was hoping for. Give way to cyclists and pedestrians. I'm gonna slow down. It's always a bit tight. A bit tighter than I thought it would be. Oh. still feel myself uh, checking and that's the idea it still need to check see how well this works hey so it feels quite good actually go around a few times 
Oh yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Wow, this is easy. Yeah, so this is it, the Fenland Road roundabout. Oh, I could ride about this all day. Everything's just stopping for me. Now try and be the local legend on the uh, Fenden Road roundabout. This is oh, oh this is bliss. <laughs> UK's first Dutch star roundabout. It's just working. Except every now and again you get a cars parked there like that, but there you go. Tell you what. From the aerial view, it looked absolutely massive and quite complicated, but in real life, it's actually just a small roundabout. I know it's just a roundabout, but this is probably the most exciting roundabout that's ever come to the UK, so hopefully there will be lots more of these coming. Ends up going around it three more times just for the hell of it. Oh my word, look at this dedicated cycle bridge. I feel like I'm abroad. <laughs> I didn't actually want to be going that way. <laughs> this is really good. I'm hoping you enjoyed the streets of Cambridge with me. It really was an eye-opener. A beautiful church. I know I often point churches out. I'm not religious or anything, but I think they're fascinating buildings. So this challenge of riding 250 miles on this hybrid with, in under 24 hours. How is it coming along, you might ask? Well, it's coming along okay, I think. So what I've done, what I've worked out, uh, I took yesterday's kilometers, took a bit of mass, basically. And if you look at the computer, in terms of it says 91 kilometers on the left there, I need to get that to 193.3, and that uh, will be the 250th mile point. So I've still got another 100k to do, so I've got another four hours, another four hours worth of riding yet before I can concern myself. Uh, I think, as far as moving time is concerned, I should be well underneath 24 hours I think but elapsed time a different matter uh, you know I've had a few stops along the way I'll calculate that at the end of this ride at the end of this video and pop it up on the screen at some point so on the NC NCN 63 at the moment I don't go into Peterborough I don't be I won't be going alongside the uh, Greyhound Stadium or anything like that I literally get to the uh, cycle bridge down the bottom of here and then uh, just on the outskirts really so there's the bridge coming up now actually this is the uh, river Neen we're crossing over here so that's the continuation of the uh, 63 there the green wheel which takes you into uh, Peterborough city centre see if we spot the hill anyone can we see any hills No. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about pumpkins. Just seen some pumpkins grow, growing in the fields. And they do grow a lot of pumpkins around here. It got me thinking, what on earth is trick and treating they're going to be like in 2020? You can't just knock on people's doors, can you? Look at his face, does it look like he's smiling? Oh man, me and Dowsby on the corner of Fen Road and Main Road. That was horrendous. I remembered, well, I remember why I hate the Lincolnshire fence so much. Bloody brutal. It's not even like a gale force wind, but blockhead wind on this bike going nine, 10 miles an hour. I'd rather do <laughs> Rosedale Chimney or Harden or something, because you know there's an end to it. That was absolutely miserable. 
And as you can see from the glasses as well, it's been raining. I don't know whether I'm going to take my rain jacket off again, but if it's worth it just yet. It's only been spitting, but it was, it was worth putting the jacket on for anyway, but that way it is. Oh, I'm glad I don't live in America, Arizona or somewhere like that, because I like roads to, like to have turns in them. And that just kept going on and on and on. Nowhere to hide. Straight piece of road. Boring. Me and Kay Thorpe about maybe half a mile off off route. Thought was gonna bonk, so I've got our shit shit loads look. Kit Kat Gold, Snickers Duo, the Jelly Babies, drink, sandwich, Pringles. Oh, gonna get it down me. Well, I'm out uh, 20 kilometers away from 193.3, which is uh 250 miles. That's yesterday's ride plus what I've uh, done today. And uh, <laughs> side note, first time I've been out on a ride and got a uh, tube of Pringles stuck in my back jersey pocket. Just going through the village of Leddingham. Can't remember the name of the uh, Ordax, but I did one out here last year. If I can find it, stick a link in the corner. There's also a hill climb around here as well. Um, when the uh, old axe finished, we all, was all in the parish hall. Um, we've got old axe as well as everybody took part in the hill climb as well. So I don't know what that one's called. But uh, yeah, I think it's literally the hills up there. Anyway, I'm going left. Concentrate. <laughs> all over the road here. So. It's bang on seven o'clock, I think. Yeah, bang on seven o'clock. I've already got my rear light on my helmet turned on. It's about 80k to go, so I'm guessing conservatively it's gonna be about half ten by the time I get home. Well, would you look at that? Coming towards the end of the day and the sun decides to uh, make an appearance. Here I am, 193.3. It's actually 193.4 because there was a giveaway just up the road, so I stopped getting instead. Anyway, 250 miles done. Don't know the time yet. I've, I'm just going to press a lap on the Wahoo, taking a picture of the screen on, on my phone and uh, work it out on flyby or something like that, the grand total. So I'll probably put that on the screen right now so you can ever see. Um, and as well, I'm going to put my ride time up to this point well ride time up to this point as well as the lap time up to this point as well so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of a poking around to try and work out exactly how to do it but uh, I, yeah did it Whew. But did it do did it do it under 24 hours in, in either way oh, I, I, I won't find out until i get home but uh, yeah so yeah talking of which i'm gonna keep moving uh, i'm gonna put the camera away now because as you can see it's pretty much dark so uh, it's this point i'm gonna leave you um, if you could have got any challenges you want to share in the comments below, whether you've any recent challenges that you've completed or any challenges that you've set yourself coming up soon. Perhaps you want to do something similar to this, perhaps not on a hybrid though. I don't recommend it. My hand, my arm, my hands, my palms are absolutely killing me. So you might want to try a road bike. Um, anyway, it's entirely up to you. Got a couple hours to left to go. I've still got 64 kilometres left. So yeah. It is quarter to eight, it's going to be dark in the next 25 minutes, so I'd better disappear. <laughs> right, for me, take care. I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now. Definitely going to have to buy Pringles again on the move. Oh, Pringles stop, wow.